What is up, Cryonics? Welcome back to the Contract DLC. So today, February 10th, 2022, the Baller ST did return to a Legendary Motorsport website. Or if you guys remember, it was free during the December 23rd through 29th event week. Um, but then they took it away, and now they brought it back at its normal price. So the normal price is 890000 or if you have the trade price, that is 667000 making it the cheapest vehicle in the DLC, but we already made a customization video on that, um, which we have over here, so I didn't want to make another one on that since we already did that, so I didn't want to leave you guys hanging without a customization or vehicle review video, so I figured why not customize one of the unreleased vehicles, the Vapid Yuga Custom, which of course is the LD Organics van. Um, now I do want to clarify here, this van is not normally obtainable. You cannot buy it. You cannot normally get it in game. The only way you can get it is by glitching it off a friend that has it. Very similar to the Lost Slam van. Same concept here. Uh, now, this vehicle, maybe it might be available later on. No one really knows. I personally don't think so. Um, so, again, currently the only way you can get it is by glitching it off a friend. Now the funny thing about this vehicle, among all the crazy stuff that it has, um, is the actual brand of it. So the Yuga itself, the Yuga Classic, which is what the base vehicle is for this, is branded as Bravado. Same thing with the classic 4x4 version, the Benny's one, that one is also a Bravado. But for some reason, Rockstar made this one a Vapid, so this one is vapid yuga instead of bravado yuga i don't understand that one and they named it the custom which is kind of interesting so it's bravado oh uh, sorry vapid <laughs> yuga custom um very interesting there so you can see it has a um, very interesting texture on there and for those of you who played the short trip missions you'll know what that is i don't want to spoil it for those of you who haven't um, of course ld organics van it's lamar's uh, business vehicle that's as far as we're gonna go there. <laughs> and you can see that it's basically the uh, Yuga Classic mixed with a tornado at the back, which is kind of funny. Um, now, this vehicle wasn't something Rockstar just randomly came up with. It's actually based on the Cheech and Chong van from the movie Up in Smoke, which <laughs> is kind of funny. Rockstar really does have a sense of humor and they do know what they're doing at times and they're very, very clever. Um, but all right, let's go ahead and check out the customization for this thing. Um, it doesn't really have any visual customization. I mean, most of it is already on it. So the Yuga Classic itself has like a side exhaust option. This one already has it on its stock. Um, this one has a front splitter upgrade from the classic 4x4 version. So it has a lot of mixed parts here and there. I guess you can say it already comes customized. Um, but anyways, armor brakes, engine, it has all the traditional stuff, horns, um, lights, there's some xenons, I guess, why not, uh, plates, so, uh, my friend Emperor, who's the one who, uh, may or not have obtained this vehicle a specific way, he did a custom plate, which is LD space Kush. <laughs> nothing suits this better, he did a great job with that, um, respray, so for this one, I mean, we could do gloss, but I don't know. I don't want to hide the texture too much. I feel like it goes best with like a matte color. Um, so we're going to go to the matte section here. And I'm thinking of doing a matte lime green. I feel like <laughs> that will be like, I think it suits it very, very well. It looks really cool on here. So we're going to do that. Uh, Kremlin for this goes... Oh, it's a lock. Look at that. So you can't. It doesn't it doesn't let you fail to apply. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense this being a vehicle you're not you're really not supposed to have. <laughs> okay. Suspension, you can lower it. Transmission, turbo. Wheels, can you change the wheels? Oh, yes you can. Okay. Um I think I'm gonna go for what do we have in here in street? Do we have any like the ooh? Oh, these look sick on here. The uh, cup champions. What else we got? Oh, these look the muscle wheels too, kind of traditional. Oh, that's a tough choice. I feel like these look really cool on here. Oh man, the hot ring steel. Oof. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to go with the hot ring steelies. Those look incredible on there in black. 
Eh, black is a bit much, I think. Um, you know what? I think we'll leave it an alloy, honestly. I think I think we'll leave it an alloy. It kind of works with this. Um, what else we got? Windows. You can tint the glass. Okay. Does it tint the back too? Look at that. It does. Okay. Um, I guess we'll do limo. Why not? And that's all the options there. Okay, so not much like a typical OG vehicle. I mean, I'm surprised they even let you do anything to it. So, all right, uh, exit. All right, rev it up here. Pretty much the same exhaust note as the uh, Yuga Classic. Floor it, and it is, um, you know, it, it's something. <laughs> It's uh, it's very slow. <laughs> Has to be expected. The handling is also what you expect from a van. Not gonna be breaking any records, that's for sure. <laughs> Awful brakes. It, it, it's a traditional van and GTA line. You, you know, the reason you have this is because of what it is, not so much uh, how it drives, and it drives awful. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and this is in the advanced class, okay. I mean, as it should be, just making sure. Sometimes Rockstar is weird, like, putting this as a Vapid instead of a Bravado. They, they do weird stuff like that sometimes. I don't know, they could have randomly put her in the muscle class for all we know, but they, they still kept it in the van, so that's cool. Alright, so let's open up all the doors and stuff here. The texture, look at that. It's so funny. Love that. Alright, let's open the doors. Let's do all nice so engine model here same thing as the Yuga classic um, interior same thing got the van doors all the same thing from the Yuga classic as to be expected and I think this door clips through the tornado uh, fenders when it closes let's see here rear left oh yeah it does it does oh that's funny let's see there <laughs> it clips right through it as it opens and closes. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the back, it opens up the same way as the regular one. I think it's cool. It's 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 cool to own. Just like the Lost Slam Van, it's something fun to own. Um, for those of you who... I'm, I'm sure some of you have friends that own this. I would definitely try getting it off of them. Now, usually I don't condone glitching, but I mean... This, does this really count as glitching? Not really. I don't think so. You're just acquiring the vehicle, right? <laughs> Rockstar doesn't care too much about these types of glitches. If not, they would have deleted the Lost Lamb van off everyone's accounts. They could have blacklisted the vehicle if they really wanted to, but they don't. So, they just don't care. I guess they just wanted it to be like a rare, you know, hidden vehicle. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. I think this thing is just super, super cool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you... Have a next one.